Okay, so in this lecture, what I would like to do is to create a middleware that's going to authenticate the, the JSON web token coming from the client. These, this token is going to arrive in the form of a cookie. However, currently we don't have any way that's going to uh, that's gonna parse the cookie. What we're going to need is a middleware. In this case, the middleware I'm going to use, or I'm sorry, the package that I, the NPM package I'm going to use is called Cookie Parser. Okay, this is going to be able to parse. It's going to be able to look inside the headers uh, for the client request and um, parse the cookie and place it onto a uh, cookies object. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this here. So I'm going to do npm install cookie parser. Okay. All right, this could take some time. Um, in the meantime, all right, so installing cookie parser, we can even check inside our JSON, uh, package JSON here. There we go. All right, so under dependencies, this is uh, cookie parser. Perfect. All right, and remember that uh, this cookie parser is going to be, in, make sure you install it, install it in the, on the back end, okay? Not on the client side, on the back end. All right, so now that we have that installed, Let's go ahead and exit that terminal window. I'm going to close this. All right, so we installed Cookie Parser. Our next thing is we want to require and use Cookie Parser in server.js. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go inside a server.js file. All right, and I am going to require that. I'm going to go under Morgan uh, and do Cookie parser and re require cookie parser okay so now we just have to add it here with our other middleware I'm gonna add this under express JSON app use and then cookie parser just like so okay all right perfect so now we're making use of it All right, next thing is I change the controller name. Okay. All right, over here. All right, I want to change this here. Um, let me open up my controllers for category. All right, so the controller name for categories, category control, no. Actually, going back to the routes, what I want to do is I want to be able to say category control controller and then create. And because this route specifically is for creating a category. And I want it to be sort of, uh, I guess, in a CRUD type of way, you know, with CRUD where you have create, read, update, and delete. So essentially when I have to read, uh, when I'm going to create a route for reading, I'm also going to do uh, category controller read or when I want to delete uh, create a delete route category controller dot delete so that way I guess it keeps in um, in sync with the whole crud type of uh, just makes it easier for me to think of that in, in a crud fashion so I'm going to remove those braces that I originally set there and just do like so so category just like that. All right, good. But now, and then save that. And then inside the category controller, I just have to change this, remove this name from category controller and just call it create, just like this. All right. So there we go. So I changed the name. And finally, let's go ahead and create our middleware for uh, checking our JSON web token. All right, I will do that. I'm going to close this up here 
and inside middleware, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call this um, authenticator.js. Okay. All right. So here, what I gotta do is I gotta bring in JSON web token, require JSON web token. And I'm gonna need to bring in, in bring in our secret from the config file uh, that is inside. Let's see, we gotta go back one directory. Uh, where is the config file? Okay, it's up here. And then we gotta go to the, yeah, go to keys. Okay, so I'm gonna do config and then keys and then bring out the JWT secret, okay? So now, let's go ahead and create a new method here, or our new middleware function, and we're gonna call it authenticate J, JWT, and it's gonna take a res request response at the next, this is middleware, so you do have to make sure you have a next here, Exports, all right, add the S there for exports. Okay, all right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna get access to the token and store it in a variable called token, and we'll do request. And then now we have access, this cookie is available to us because we're making use of the cookie parser. If we didn't install that package, this right here wouldn't be available to us. All right, the next thing we wanna do is the name that we gave that token inside the cookie, which was token. Okay, and we can check that out. Um, let's go ahead and console that out. Do console log token. And in the controller, no, in the routes, we're gonna add that middleware right over here right before the, the controller. So right over here, I'm gonna do authenticate JWT. And over here, it was automatically included for me. So, so make sure you include that here, or require it. Save, and let's try to test this out. Um, okay, so this is gonna be consoled this is gonna be console on the server window, on the server console. So I'm gonna add a category here, do drinks, submit. If we go to back end console, look at that. All right, you see this long string right here? This is the token right here. All right, all right, good. So we're getting access to the cookie, the, the token stored in the cookie, that's good. And again, this is this is possible because we were using cookie parser. All right. All right. So now that we did that, all right. So let's see what we got here. All right. So we're still creating our middleware. All right. Good. So now let's let's actually let's let's make a condition though. Let's do if not token. We're gonna send. We're gonna be. We're gonna return response status of 401. This is a status code for unauthorized. And then JSON. Do send error message. We're gonna send a message to user. Say um, no token. And then in uh, auth. Authorization denied. Okay. All right, and let's check that this uh, message works, this error message works. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna remove an N here from the token. So now it's just toke, all right? So this should trigger an error message and send this um, as a response back to the client and display it for us. So let's just check that out. All right, so uh, add category, 
and drinks submit. There you go. No token authorization denied. Good. All right. You know what? While we're at it, another thing I want to do is um, if we get a success, um, this drinks right here. Ideally, I want the field to just clear up the input field to clear up if there's a success. But if 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 it is successfully created, this continues on. So that so if I want to add a, add a category, I just have to remove it. So let let me just fix that up real quick. Um, if I go to the admin dashboard. Okay, bring down this terminal window here. Let's do it like that. Um, I could fix that um, if we go to handle category submit over here in the create category uh, function in the then block. I'm gonna do set category and then empty string, and then and then that's it. So if I save that and go back, and also. Um, let me close this admin dashboard and fix up this token again. All right, and save. Let's go here. Create a desserts. So when the success, when when we successfully get a response that the category was created, this input field should clear up. Okay, so let's just make sure that that was uh, taken care of. Okay, what was that? Uh, did I do that? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, because this is, okay. Actually, let me comment this out for a second here, this JWT middleware. Go back and try it again. All right, dessert, submit. There you go. All right, so the field was cleared up and with the message. Good. All right. All right, so let's continue. Authenticate JWT. All right, so we got our middleware there. And let's continue. Let's finish building this thing out. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a try catch block. Error. If we get an error, let's do a console log. Uh, let's do JWT error and then error error and then I also want to do here um, do response status also four one of unauthorized and JSON of error message and do um, invalid in that yeah and oh wait what am i doing no right, there we go like this in valid token good oh, remove that semicolon from there all right good all right so now in the try block area i want to verify this token Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create a, a variable called decoded and do um, JWT verify. And then the first argument here is good thing for Visual Studio Code. It even gives us a hint here. It tells us pretty much. So we get the first argument is going to be token and the second one is going to be the, the secret. All right, so uh, we're, we're, okay over here, verify. So the first one is a token, and we also have to pass in here this JWT secret. JWT secret. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to attach let me see onto, we want to attach something onto the request object as it proceeds down the pipeline um, through the route onto the controller we want to attach to it the user okay because once this JSON web token is verified it's going to strip out the um, 
the user that we attached to it before it was encrypted okay and it's or um it's going to uh remove that user that uh was used and then store it inside this decoded okay now that we have the decoded information or the user available to us, we can do uh, decoded dot user, just like this, and pass that as a property to the request object. Okay, and then from there, now we want to do call next. Okay, this ensures that the middleware proceeds and this next is available only in this try block in this portion here if everything is successful otherwise uh, we'll just get this catch which is going to um, give us an error okay so now this sh yeah so this should be good right now so we should be uh, have everything uh, working now um, let's see okay so create but let's uh, let's see here all right. Hmm. Give me a sec. I'm trying to test this thing out. Um, all right. You know what? Let's also do here in the set timeout. Let me do a console log. Let me do a console log. I'm actually, let me do that outside of the, the set timeout. Let me do a console log request user I just want to ensure that the user was attached to a request object okay and make sure this worked so let's go back here to add category let's do desserts submit and I'm gonna go to the console here and look at that you see here oh okay you see this is the user and we get an object with the user's ID now this ID is going to be uh, very important for us because when we start making our um, identifying who exactly is making these uh, these requests uh, or when we're making requests to the database, we need to we need that specific ID of the user. Okay, all right. So that is it for now. We have a working middleware that's authenticating the cookie, uh, the token that's stored in the cookie. All right. So that's it for now, and uh, we'll continue on with the creating category section.